Hey everyone, happy Fresh Bottle Friday and welcome back to the Western Wisconsin Whiskey Emporium. We're the Deathless Dogs and we are helping you get your payday purchases in line. Up on the table today, we've got Isaac Bowman, straight bourbon finished in port barrels. Representing that pioneer spirit. Look at this thing, it's like shaped like a wooden UFO. Mm -hmm. The story on Bowman Brothers is they are out of Fredericksburg, Virginia and I believe they are taking Buffalo Trace distillate back to Virginia, redistilling, barreling, finishing. In this case, finishing in a port barrel. I don't know how many people are getting stuff sourced out of Buffalo Trace, so that's interesting. It is too. interesting. This one came pretty highly recommended by some people on the Whiskey Encore streams that I hang out on sometimes. If you're not hanging out there, you should be. The nose on this is pretty interesting. I feel like the port, to me, up front, like right now, is kind of subtle. More of like a rich caramel, almost molasses-y kind of thing happening. And then there is that little uh, tang of like a sour grape or something at the end. I could kind of see that. There's no age statement. There's a big old story on the back about Isaac Bowman. We know it's at least four years if it's non-age stated. A little bit of a clean herbal note. Maybe clovish. That is kind of the tail end an herbal note. Yep. I agree with that. Clean. Like cool, clean herbal. Let's clink them and drink them. That does, on the flavor, have a bit of that spearmint gum cooling thing that I thought might happen. In the finish, yeah. And it does, in a weird way, remind me of a more liquidy midwinter. Kind of dry, too. Uh, it's doing a weird thing for me. Actually, very similar to the Starlight Sauternes finish when I swallow it. A very similar, it's this almost burnt popcorn-y thing or something. Or maybe it's like... It's definitely got that abrasive thing on the back of my tongue. It's very fruity on the back end but a little bit bitter. Much like that Sauternes, like a bitter citrus kind of thing. Up front, more of a sweet fruit or a, a juicier fruit. Some berries or something like that in the front. And then in the back, yeah. kind of a spike of that like citrus pith kind of thing. There's like a caramel corn thing in there going on. I think this one needs to open up a little because when I first had the Starlight Sauternes that this is reminding me of and that note that's hitting me out of it, that was super strong and then trying it after having it been open for a couple weeks that muted down and like the fruits really shine through. Okay. This might be a similar situation on this one. So a little rough on the neck pour, maybe give it some time to open up. Unfortunately, we don't have time for that today on this Fresh Bottle Friday, but sometimes that's gonna happen for you. You buy a bottle, initially you might not like it, but if we were to come back to this in a couple weeks, maybe some of the flavors we're getting now are changing so I will certainly try it again I don't dislike it at all I do think it needs a little time to open up right out of the fresh bottle it's it's fine it's drinkable this wasn't like an expensive bottle I think it was like 40 bucks not breaking the bank I could see this going really well in like an old-fashioned or a Manhattan something like that pretty perfect for that actually Absolutely, yeah overall I do like it I can't say I would buy it again just right off the rip right now as it sits right now I want to see what happens in a week or two and then I would make a final verdict on whether I'd buy it or not it's certainly a welcome addition to our collection we do now have a few port finished bourbons here. I think we'll do a live stream and just drink port finished bourbon one night. We can do that. So that'll be a couple weeks from now probably and we'll see if the time allowed it to open up and really shine or if it just kind of is what it is. And that'd be okay too. Have you had Isaac Bowman or any of the other Bowman offerings? What's your favorite? If you haven't already, hit like on the video because that helps spread the word about the channel. And if you subscribe, that helps even more. And we appreciate it. If it's your first time here, we thank you. If it's your hundredth time here, we thank you even more. From the Western Wisconsin Whiskey Emporium for ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next Wednesday.